Why does my nose itch? Ah! Oh, this is a great time. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Scogan Beauty. Okay, so I did my hair straight. I haven't done my hair straight in a long time, in like months, and I just missed it straight? I don't know, it's weird, but here we go with some straight hair. Um, fried it with that straight iron, it was, it was good times. Anyways, so if you're wondering if I'm still on the curly hair journey, I am, I just missed having straight hair for a hot minute, so my hair's straight. Okay, what we're really gonna talk about today is I bought some makeup from an indie brand. This brand is called It's Bell Cosmetics. And I heard about them from Annette's Makeup Corner. And it was, she ranked one of their palettes as her number one palette of all 2021. And she tries hundreds of palettes a year. So I was like, okay, okay, let's put this on my list. And then I went to It's Bell Cosmetics website and it was also every single one of their palettes were sold out. There are three palettes that they have right now as I'm doing this video. They have the Flare Collection, Break the Rules, which is the one that Annette's Makeup Corner rated her number one palette of the year. And then they have the Dawn of Fall palette. And so I went to the website. They were all sold out. Every single one of them were sold out. Um, this is a small indie brand that is apparently very popular. <laughs> People, they can't keep up with like the supply, I don't think, because they're just so, everybody wants them and there are just a few people making them. So the only one, they did have a restock and I have a funny story about this restock. I believe they are a Canadian company because they put that this palette restock was happening at seven and here, I'm not gonna say AM or PM because I read, okay. I read AM, 7 AM, but it was actually 7 PM. So it was seven, Atlantic Standard Time and I was like what's Atlantic Standard Time so I got on Google and googled it and found out that it was for my time Utah time so I woke up I set an alarm and woke up at 4 a.m and it didn't there was no restock and I was like oh I missed it it restocked and everybody got it and I, I like missed it even though I was refreshing 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 and I was so upset so then I went back to sleep <laughs> and I woke up the next day and noticed that it said 7 p.m. And I was like, oh my gosh, Bianca. Like, did you really wake up at 4 a.m. for a makeup release? Yes, I did. And I didn't get it and I was so mad. But then, so at 4 p.m., I was able, everything restocked. But I put all three of those palettes in my cart. And by the time, and like they, they had to do it, like they're doing, they're putting them on the site as we're trying to buy them, I guess. And so the Fall of Dawn one restocked first. So I put that in my cart. The Break the Rules restocked second. And I put that in my cart. And then the Remix, the Flare Remix restocked last. And I put that one in my cart. So I went to go check out. And the Fall of Dawn one was sold out. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I kept trying to like re-add it to my cart, which was really dumb. And then the Break the Rules sold out. And I was like, ah. So I just purchased the flare one like I was like okay purchase 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 like before it sells out as well it was I was I was freaking out okay it was freaking out so I got it I got the flare the flare collection remixed and it is stunning it is I've used it a couple times now like five times and I am just pretty obsessed pretty obsessed with it so last week there was another restock and I think it's their last restock that they're doing they're gonna be doing some changes um, I don't know what they are they they sent an email that was like we're gonna do some changes this is the last restock we do before we have some changes and when we're gonna do some pre-orders anyways I set an alarm again for the right time <laughs> it was like the way that it was like in Mountain Standard Time it was like noon so noon I was able to get the break the rules palette and the fall, the dawn of fall palette. Yay. So those are coming. Those are in the mail. Anyways, <laughs> I, I'm so excited to have those. It just, mm, mm, it was, it was insane. It was very nerve wracking. I don't do well with like high stress, um, get, getting things done in a certain amount of time situations. I'm a very meticulous person. I like to take my time and make sure things are correct. And so when things are really high stress like that, it's, it's not a good game for me. Anyways, 
So then, in between these two buying situations, they also had a Besame collection come out, which had a, a blush palette and some lip liners and some lipsticks. The whole collection for a couple, I think it was like five lipsticks, five lip liners, and this blush palette was like $68, and I was like, yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty good deal. Um, Cause sometimes like new lipsticks can be 20 bucks for one lipstick. So all of that was a really good price. I was afraid it was gonna sell out. No, no, it was fine. It, it like, I think that people go crazy over It Spells eyeshadow palettes, not over everything else yet. So I have the Flare Remixed eyeshadow to put on my eyes. And I'm gonna swatch it on my arm so you can see all the colors. I also got the Besame collection. So here is, it's wrapped in this pretty packaging. This is like a Valentine's Day collection, I believe, because it says on the paper, it says, it's mine, or be mine. It's, I'm all over it's spell. Be mine. Um, and Besame, my husband, because he speaks fluent Spanish, was like, although I could have figured this out, but he's like, it means kiss me. So this is the blush palette. Okay, so these, not all of these colors are gonna work really well on me. These are really like bright, saturated colors, but look at this purple. I love purple blush. So I'm really excited. I don't know, I feel like this one um, is just gonna be a no-go for my face, but that's okay. I, I really, you know, this little C shape right here is is where, where it's at for me. So I'm gonna put this on my face and then, I got the lipsticks and the lip liners and they came in this cute little pouch. So there's a lot of them and I'm gonna swatch those out. So it's gonna be a little swatching party and we're gonna put it on my face. It's gonna be fun. Six lipsticks. I would hope that it went together six and six, but six lip liners. So that was the Besame collection. And then in order to get 20 per or to get free shipping with that, I was like, okay, because it's $75 for free US shipping, and that's obviously what I wanted. So I was able to purchase some more things, and they were on sale. These next things that I got were half off. Okay, this is a, the funniest, weirdest, like this company, like it has such a demand on the eyeshadow palettes, but everything else is in stock. Everything else is fine. They have these pearly gates. So this is the Pearly Gates collection, and this is kind of like a pastel pigments. Eyeshadow pigments, pastel, and these are, oh, there's stars inside of it. Now I have stars everywhere, dang it. It's cute, but it's, why? Why put stars in there? Anyways, so there's these little pigments, but they're all very pastel colors. So I was able to get this entire collection for half off. And then there was an, and I still, okay, I purchased the eyeshadow separate from the, the Besame. So for the best, for the eyeshadow, I did pay shipping because I only got the eyeshadow. But for this Besame one, I was like, I don't want to pay shipping. So I got the, the Pearly Gates collection and the Besame and I still was, I think I did get, maybe I was like a dollar away from free shipping because so, cause I got more, <laughs> cause I wanted that free shipping. Um, and everything else was half off, it was insane. So uh, then I got the Lolly Gloss collection. They have this collection of Lolly Glosses, which are just lip gloss, and there's five of them. So, do I have a lot of makeup from It's Bell now? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> but I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try them out. And then I have two more palettes and, and mascara coming actually, cause I wanted to hit free shipping which I actually didn't, I was a dollar away. That's a different story though. Let's start swatching and then putting some stuff on my face. I already have foundation, concealer, and eyebrows on. So you might be like, wow, those are some thick eyebrows. That's, they won't look as prominent when I get everything else on. Let's swatch this out. Okay, so we have the shade Morganite. And as you can, this is an all shimmer palette, but they're kind of duo multi-chrome. They kind of switch colors like this one. I don't know, it's, it's harder to tell in the light, but ooh, let's turn off the light and see if you guys can see better. No, I feel like the light was helping it. All right, we'll get it on my arm. This is the shade Morganite. 
so pretty. And it's more like a cream shadow, I would say, than it is a powder shadow. So right there, it, it switches from like pink to gold. I like that, like peachy, peachy pinky gold. I love that. Okay, oh, so that was Morganite. Now we're going to go with Star Ruby. And these are cream shadows, I said. You can actually see here that it's oiling out a little bit. That's interesting. It's, I'm not upset about it. I don't care that there's oil on my palette. I just, it's part, the, the shadows are really creamy, so they oil out. Ugh. Okay, so this one's Star Ruby. And my swatches are not going to be great because I'm doing them on the back of my hand. Okay, so that one's Star Ruby. And it goes from like purple to copper. I like that. That's really pretty. So I'm a big fan of multi-chromes. Okay, then we're going to go with Citrine right here. I am so good at swatching the back of my arm. Just kidding. I'm actually really terrible at it. I think that over the years, I'll get better at this. Maybe. Okay, so there's Citrine. I would say Citrine doesn't have a multi-chrome to it or duochrome. It's just kind of gold. Um, in the pan, it does kind of look like it goes from brown to, to goldish. But on my hand, I don't feel like there's a lot of... of color changing. Okay, then we're going to go with Larimar, this one right here. It is a, it can appear teal and purple. Definitely, there's the purple and there's the teal. So let's see if I can get it to do that. Why does my nose itch? Ah! Oh, this is a great time. Oh, wow, that one is so pretty. Let's do a good job swatching, Bianca. Maybe. Oh, wow, that one is so pretty. I might just put that all over. So that's Larimar. Then we're gonna go with this middle shade, which is Rose Water. And this one is more like chunky. It has a little bit of a chunk to it. It goes on smooth. rose water right here and that one is definitely like it's a rose water is a good explanation for it because it goes from pink to like pearly to green I like that obviously I like all of them but I feel like that's a really good inner corner shade really pretty okay then we're gonna go with amethyst right here so pretty get two swatches of it. Pretty. That one goes from pink to purple to blue. Blue, pink, purple. Oh, I love that. Then we're going to go with this um, aquamarine. Right there. Oh, that one. That one shows up really well. It's, it's more of a dark, like it's more saturated. Then in the middle here, we have Ar Aronite, Aronite. And this one is like, it's greenish, but it's kind of like a dusky green. I don't know if that makes any sense. Love that. Whew, so pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have Lapis, Lapis Lazuli. I know what lapis is, but lapis lazuli, I don't know what that is. I actually have a lapis necklace that I got from my grandma when she passed. All right. Pretty. Oh, wow. That one's more purple in, in my, I can see more purple than you can see. Why? I'm trying to see if you, where, there it is. There's that purple. Mm. Anyways, there is that palette. It is absolutely stunning. Yes, it is an all shiny palette, but you could just pair it with some mattes 
Bam. Or not. And just put one and done. Put one of these all over your eyes. So pretty. Wow. Look how these just, oh, look at them still on my fingers. So pretty. Okay, so let's get into the eye look and then we'll swatch some more things. So I just got this Natasha Denona Retro Palette and I'm gonna use that palette for um, like my transition shades and my matte shades. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm, uh, what do I wanna do? I'm using this Nude Mauve right here and my Refer Number One brush to just get a transition shade on my eye. That's a nice neutral transition shade. Beautiful. We're gonna put some of this darker color called Rebellion in my outer corner just to see what happens. Wow, that's dark. And this is kind of a cream to a powder shade. So that I think works out really well because we have all these other cream shades. That is such a saturated color. Okay. Let's mess with the flare one now. They all are so pretty. I feel like I could go with, obviously this one would look really well with that color combination, but I want to go with something more fun. So we're going to go with this one. Or this one. <sighs> let's do this one. Which is Amethyst. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. I made the right decision. That is so pretty. And I might actually put another color like in the inner, inner corner. I'm obsessed. That is so pretty. <laughs> I've never done like burgundy, burgundy and purple before. Why have I not? I don't know. <laughs> Ready. Okay. Then I'm going to go with this rose water one and put it on my pinky and just put that in the inner, inner, inner corner just to add a little bit of pop. Yeah. Great. All right. Then we're going to put on the other eye and mascara off camera. Both eyes are on now and mascara. I actually used the Lash Freak, the Urban Decay Lash Freak mascara because I was looking at an old video of mine and I saw that I used this mascara and I was like, my lashes look really good. Okay, it's difficult to use because the wand is insane. And let's not talk about that right now. Um, but I think it made my lashes really thick. Anyways, this is about the eyeshadow. So I have some, a little bit of that like rose water, which kind of turns a little bit green. As Let's see, you can kind of see the rose water is this one and it turns a little bit green. Interesting. And then it's almost more green on the eyes than it is on my arms. And then I have the amethyst, which is this one in the middle. And then I have some Natasha Denona on the edges. I really like how that turned out. I think it looks really good. Blush. Blush. We're gonna go with the purple one. I mean, of course I am. Ooh, ooh, it's saturated. Did you expect anything different? If I tried a different color blush first, it wouldn't have been me. <laughs> it blends really nicely. I love that. And I love that the purple blushes are purple, but then they have a little bit of a, like a, a pinky tone to them. So I think that they can work here. Let's watch those out. So we have this plum. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So this is erotica right there. Then we have, oh my gosh, these are all in Spanish. <laughs> this is the purple one. It is recura, which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong purple and then we have the me gustas right here just more of just like a pink a, a really nice pinky rosy shade boom then we have okay i just asked my husband how to pronounce these because they are 
this is the Besame commercial. Besame collection. So it is definitely in Spanish. So we have Muerdeme, which means bite me. Bite me. And um, Salvaje, which means savage. And then we have Suavecito, which means like suave or smooth. And then me gustas means it's pleasing. It pleases me. And then ricura, that one means like a, a small thing that pleases you. Like a... Or, uh, call that one delicious. Delicious. Okay. That one means delicious. And then erotica is just, I guess, erotic. Okay. Salvaje also can mean wild. All right. So fun names. I kind of like the name bite me best, but I put ricura on delicious on my face. So... So much fun, yay! Sorry if I didn't do a great job pronouncing those, but I tried my best. Okay, so now let's do some, oh, I forgot to keep swatching, Bianca. Um, so we have Muerdeme, we're gonna do next. And if you hear growling in the background, that's my new puppy and my old puppy just getting along. <laughs> Then we have Selvaje, which is like, like bright orange. That, that one isn't, that's bright orange right there. That's, that's not really a me color, but we're going to make it work. And Suavecito. I'm so glad I got him to help me pronounce that one. Cause I would have, I would have butchered it. Okay. So this one is more like a rosy pink. So that one, even though I said that one's more of a bubblegum pink, even though I said rosy pink. Okay. So this one is Erotica, Ricura. Me gustas, mierdeme, mierdeme, mierdeme. This one is salvaje and this is suavecita. Fun, fun, fun. So they are very pigment packed, but I was able to just kind of layer it on and yeah, it's, it, it does kind of look like a lot of blush, but I don't mind. I, I, I like a lot of blush, so I'm sure you could, could go lighter handed. Okay, now I'm really excited. I have the lipsticks. Okay, so we have first, what's coqueta? Flirt. Flirt. Okay, so I have coqueta and it's flirt. All right, that's a terrible swatch. I'm really good at swatching, not. Ooh, that one's so pretty. I think that one's like kind of a little bit plummy, like that. And then the lip liners, um, they, only have numbers associated with them. So I kind of guessed what goes with what. So this is the lip liner that I'm assuming goes with this one. Yeah, I did pretty good. Okay. Then we have the next one is Deseo. 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 Desire. Deseo is desire. And this is why I have my husband. And that one is more um, it's a little bit brickier than the other one. It, they almost look the same, but I would say that it's a little brickier, like brick red. Okay, then I'm going to say that this one goes with it. Nope, I'm wrong. That one is definitely brown. <laughs> All right, well, keep going. Then we have um, Sutil, which we're going to say is subtle. Did I say subtle? Did I say it? sutil very subtly? Probably not. Actually, those two probably go together. Yeah. Okay, so that one is, is more of a, um, a nude brown. Then, is it, it's kind of a subtle brown. <laughs> okay, impulso. Is that impulsive? Say that again. Impulso? Yeah. Impulso, which is this one. It is, this is definitely like the browniest of them. Yeah, that is like a chocolate brown. Right there. Chocolate brown. Impulso. Am I still trying to guess which of these liners go with which? Kind of. Um, yeah, this is the Impulso one. Perfect. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write in permanent marker on them and write Impulso so I know. I'm going to write it on there for my knowledge. But I don't know which one goes. I guess this middle one could go with both. Yeah. All right. The next one is peligrosa. Dangerous. Dangerous. Ooh, peligrosa. 
Oh, that one is so pretty. I love that. Look at that like deep plum. Cranberry maybe. Mm. Love that. Okay. I have two, I have three more liners and two more lipsticks. Yeah, this is definitely the Peligrosa one. Maybe? Yeah. Or is it this one? No, it's this one. I think. I don't know. We're all just playing a game and we don't know what we're doing. I'm going to go with that this one, this one might go with this one. It's just my guess. Okay. Then last but not least, we have La Jefe, Jefa, La Jefa, which is the boss. Because it's a bright red lipstick, which is the boss. I love a bright red lipstick. It's the boss of my house. Okay. Now I have two kind of red ones. So we're just guessing. Oh, that one. Oh, don't push too hard because then they break. They're very, they're very soft, which is nice for your lips. Okay, that one goes really well with it. I, I would say that that's the lip liner for La Jefa. And then we have another red one. So do they match exactly with like this one? I don't know, you can match them however you want, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's two reds for the red one. Okay, maybe that one, that one that I did earlier is supposed to go with this one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe. I think I figured it out. Through the process of just matching, but, and I, anyways, I'm going to name these. I'm gonna put names on them so that I know what goes with what. That was the entire Best of Me collection with the Flare eyeshadow palette. Let's put one on my lips. Let's do brown. I wanna do the, uh, the Satil one. We're gonna go with Subtle. Teal. Oh no, we're gonna do a liner first. You knew that. You know what? Let's go with a darker liner. When I do a light shade like that, I like to have a dark liner. I am not very good at lighting my lips because I have little baby lips. All right, I feel like I'm just as good at lighting my lips as I was in like sixth grade. Okay, velvet lipsticks. So they're not completely matte, but that's okay. They're still really pretty. I think that looks fantastic together. So then I also did get the Lolly Gloss collection, which I'm not putting it on because if I put gloss over a lipstick, it's gonna get all over my teeth. But I'll just tell you about it. There is the Mocha Pop. They're all kind of brown. So we have Mocha Pop. We have Cocoa For You. So if you like brown glasses, this is, this is the collection for you. Be Cordial. Do I have, still have room on here? No, I don't want to. We have Call Me Pecan and Passion Fruit. So those are the glosses that go, they don't go with this collection, but you can buy them separately. And then we have the Pearly Gates collection. And these are just beautiful. I, I haven't opened these yet. I'm not even gonna swatch these because I just did a video for with Love's Cosmetics where I swatched all of the pigments and it went everywhere and I had to clean my whole counter and I just don't feel like doing that right now. So this is Heaven's Dust. It's a purpley color. And then this is Angelica and Angelical and it's more of a pinky color. And then we have, I feel like these one, these two are very similar. So I'm going to show them at the same time. We have Celestial and Divinity. They're both, this one has more um, of a light, a little bit more white to it. And, and this one's more blue. And then, oh, here's another pink one. I feel like these two are like exactly the same. This one's Cotton Cloud and this one's Angelical. I'm sure they look different, like they shift differently on the eyes, but they just look the same as powders. So those, these came, they were a lot smaller than I was anticipating, but they're the same size as the, pretty much, yeah, as the ones from With Love. So, you know, um, dual chrome pigments are more expensive to make, so 
they come in little packages. <laughs> what do I think of the brand? What do I think of its bell? It's amazing. It's amazing. Would I repurchase more? Yeah, I already did. I already tried to get, I in the mail right now are the Donna Fall palette and the Break the Rules palette. So yeah, yeah. I would sign up for, if this is some, and it, if this is a collection that is, fits you and is something that you'd like, I would sign up for their email list because then they send emails saying when the restock happens because that's what I did. Blah, 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 blah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. All right. So most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. All right. Have a great day. Bye.